Hi, welcome back to Computex. We're here with Corsair again. Now, you've already seen a few products from Corsair. They've got new chassis, uh, new memory here. But George is also showing a live demo of Corsair Link. Now, we've seen this product shown at CBIT and CES. You might be confused as to what it actually does because we haven't seen a live demo before. So George is going to take us through it. All right. Uh, yeah, so what Corsair Link really is is an ability to control your lighting and cooling in your case better than you've, you've been able to do before. And I'll give you a quick demo of the way it works and the, the software. So what it's comprised of is, uh, for example, we have the H100 cooler in here, which is for fully Corsair Link digital compatible. Uh, the Corsair Link Commander, which is a device that's similar to this and it sits in a drive bay. That's the brains of the operation, plugs in over USB. There's a lighting node and a cooling node that are hidden behind the motherboard tray here. They're about the size of a pack of gum. And they're all plugged in digitally to one another with digital cables, so that it's all plugged in and read readable over USB. What happens then when you boot up after that is it identifies every temperature zone in your system. So the GPUs have built-in temperature sensors, the CPU has a built-in temperature sensor, the H100 has a built-in coolant temperature sensor, uh, and then we can also include thermistors that plug into the analog sensors on the cooling node if we wanted to set up separate zones. But what I've done here is for CPU1, I'm using the CPU temp to gauge the, the H100 fans. Right now they're running at 1000 RPM and I've tied this blue LED to them and the LED is also based on temperature. Uh, at 30, 35, and 40, it'll actually change color. And then on the GPU, I've tied this one here. It's running kind of a greenish blue right now. And the uh, fan I've tied to that is actually just the Airflow Pro fan here, just for uh, demonstration sake. So what will happen is if I wanted to run, for example, a CPU test, I'll run this, and you'll see the CPU temp will go up, and the lighting here will change based on the temperature, and the fans up top will also change. I have to drag and drop back sometimes. So we're, uh, we've been demonstrating this for a while now, and you can hear the fans going up and down as we get through it. The, the reason it's been taking a while to get this stuff uh, to market, because we have shown it CES and CBIT, is we're just really making sure this is 100% stable. We don't want to launch anything that doesn't have the, the full features that we want. So you can hear now, those fans are up at near max. And uh, at maximum, they can be pretty effective. And as you can see, right now we have a 990 uh, Intel processor in here. It's a really hot processor, six cores. But we're keeping it at 40 degrees with those two fans. And uh, we've got the LED color turned to red. If I kill this right here, then you'll see the lighting will change back as soon as it cools down, and the fans will start slowing down really quickly. Um, so the, the lighting can be done custom. You can do whatever color you want, uh, or you can set it up to be temperature-based. So the temperature-based stuff is kind of neat, um, but if you don't have a case window, you may not care. Or if you do have a case window, maybe you just want green lights or whatever, that's perfectly capable too. You can just go to the lighting and just say, you know, I want normal lighting, and I want it to be uh, red 100% of the time. And you can just drag and drop. And Or maybe you want, let's see, like an orange and uh, that'll give you kind of an orange or amber color. The real benefit there is that, you know, it's 256 shades per channel on red, green, and blue, so it's 16 million colors. It gives a lot of flexibility for that. Um, it's just something that for the guys who like the lighting, that's cool on the lighting side of things. If you guys like the cooling, it really gives you detailed control of your cooling. Okay, and that's an important differentiator because it is complete control over cooling and lighting in different zones. Mm -hmm. But you're going to sell two models of this, so if people don't want the lighting, they can get just the cooling yeah. control. So if you don't care about the lighting, uh, like some people just don't really care, then they can actually have the cooling kit, which comes with the cooling node and the commander unit, and allows you to plug in up to five fans, and it's expandable up to seven more devices. So you could conceivably plug 40 fans into the thing, and uh, we'll sell the components that allow you to upgrade that so you guys can actually find out. You know, I have 10 fans in my case. I'll buy two of these things. I'll plug them all in and I'll say intake fans and, and exhaust fans are my two zones and they're based on the temps of my CPU and the temps of my GPU and the temps of my hard drives, whatever I want. And then that allows you to be flexible and, and customize it however you'd like to. Okay, this is the H100 cooler. You mentioned it's got a digital link that connects straight mm -hmm. to the Corsair link. What happens with your older coolers that don't have that facility? So you can still plug in the fans from any of our older coolers into the Corsair link cooling node and use the fans based on CPU temp. But the benefit of the H100 really is that it, it acts 
works is an expansion for what we call the, the cooling node. So it has a built-in cooling node for H100 has up to four fans and H80 has two. So we don't actually control the fans for H100 off of the, the cooling node here. We're controlling them off of H100 itself. So it's got a built-in fan controller. So the little button on H100, if you don't have Corsair Link, that sets your noise profile from low noise to a kind of a balanced and then a high performance profile, and that allows the, the end user to customize it. If you have Corsair Link, those don't light up, and you get this little user icon that lets you know that you're setting the exact custom profile you want. So if I go here to the H100 fan, I can say, at this temperature, run this RPM, and that allows me full control of that. So that's a, that's a real cool benefit. Um, if, you, if you have Corsair Link, you can be much more customizable, but if you don't have Corsair Link, you can still set your, your noise profile. Okay, George, last question. When will it be available and how much will it cost? The first kit, the cooling node and the, the cooling kit, is they're going to be available in the same time frame. They're all about available in August, I would say. And I think the cooling kit is 99 bucks, and the cooling and lighting kit is 139 Excellent. Okay, that's the Corsair Link. Stay tuned for more from Hexus.